Welcome back for the final part of our program. And this afternoon, we'll be starting off with discussing translating bullying research into policy and practice. And Denise Godfordson from the University of Maryland will be the moderator. Thanks, and welcome back. This session addresses the important uh, topic of how we can increase the take up of evidence based practices in schools and communities. We've learned in the past 20 years or so that um, developing effective interventions is really just the first step in achieving high quality implementation of effective practices on a broad uh, scale, broad enough scale that they can make a real difference. Um, so the panel members in this segment are going to share with you what we've learned about the characteristics of programs that make them more likely to be well implemented and the characteristics of schools and communities that make them more capable of selecting uh, and, and implementing um, evidence-based practices well. Um, you'll also hear uh, some examples of systems that can be put in place in communities uh, to increase the take up of evidence-based practices. Um, please bear in mind as you listen to these presentations so that the information presented isn't specific to bully uh, prevention. It draws much uh, more broadly from what we've learned in general about uh, about uh, sustainability and uh, high quality implementation of prevention practices more generally, but we expect that this information should be equally uh, applicable to bully prevention. Um, so we're very, very fortunate to have uh, three speakers who have each spent a great deal of time and effort thinking about and studying um, how effective practices can best be translated into practice. Uh, I'm very honored and pleased to be able to participate in the panel with, uh, with these three folks. Um, our first speaker is Luann Rohrbach. Uh, she's uh, from the University of Southern California, Keck School of Medicine. She's done a lot of work on translational science and in fact uh, was just recently recognized by the Society of Prevention Research for her work in this area uh, by being awarded the, the Translational Science Award. So she'll be our first speaker. <laughs> 